apologies to the younger viewers, any minors who are watching, but uh, you know, anything goes here on Holster TV. It's difficult. How can I satisfy an audience? I literally don't know. Like, there's people of all ages who watch this, and I, I'm sorry. <laughs> what is going on, guys? And welcome to the latest Kabu. <laughs> Fucking hell, what is it again? It's been that long. <laughs> welcome to the latest Kabu video game pickups and uh, other miscellaneous slow call and CX pickups. I don't know what to say, it's been that long. I'm so sorry, guys. I really do apologise. Um, absolute million apologies. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't get any uh, live car boot footage. I'm honestly, I absolutely apologise, guys. Um, obviously, uh, you've not seen me in a little while. I've been working my usual shifts. I've been working a lot of overtime as well. Um, so yeah, I've not had time. Well, it's not not so much that. It's uh, I've I've forgot. I've totally forgot to wipe the uh, GoPro, so it's all ready to go for the. You know what I mean? I I rose for the from the car boot. You know, like uh, altered beast arise from your grave. You know, at the <laughs> the beginning. Rise from your grave. Um. Yeah, and I was like, oh, the GoPro is not ready to go. The holster's ready to go, but the GoPro isn't. So I absolutely apologise for that. After I've like recorded this and I get this all ready for editing, thumbnail, all that jazz. Um, I will hook up the GoPro and get that doing at some point. Um, I'd need some footage because it's such a shame. Got some awesome car boot pickups. I've done well um, anyway, considering, because I'll explain to you guys. I think I've um, briefly explained on the previous video anyway, but since obviously the, the COVID pandemic and everything, um, it, it kind of uh, defeats the object for social distancing anyway, because uh, as people around me were complaining, but um, my usual car boot, it's open from 5am for both the sellers and the buyers, so everyone can just go in. But now, it's open from 5am for the sellers, but then all the buyers, we all have to like line up. Like I described in the last video, like Green Street, like when they're all off Football Factory, when they're all at the train stations mouthing off to the opposite team and all that. So yeah, we're all lined up, ready to, you know, storm the field at 7 in the morning. What else are you going to do on a Saturday? Sit in your fucking armchair wanking off to pop idols? Then try and avoid your wife's gaze as you struggle to come to terms with your sexless marriage? Then go and spunk your wages on kebabs, fruit machines and brasses? Fuck that for a laugh. I know what I'd rather do. Trot them away. Love it. But yeah, the thing is though, you're all huddled together. Like, not many people, like in my opinion, in my experience, like not many people have uh, been wearing the face masks, but I've been wearing them at all times because it just gives you that peace of mind just to be safe and it obviously protects other people. Um, but yeah, I've, I've just found, I don't think I actually pick up as much as I would have done in the old rules because the thing is I start at one end of the car boot I can't be in <laughs> all the aisles at once whereas before you could patrol <laughs> storm the aisles whatever you want to call it you could go down all the aisles as the cars come in and the, they've unpacked and everything then you could just stroll and have a look um, and obviously I'd be like one of the first because I'd be there from 5am onwards dedication for holster tv channel uh, but yeah on this it's like um, I can, you know, do so many rows, but then I'll get to like halfway across the field and then that half, all the game stuff, it'll literally be picked over or I'll get some all right stuff, but not the best stuff. Um, so, yeah, it's really hard. It makes it fair for everyone. But at the same time, you know, it's really difficult because there's a lot of other like traders, resellers, the people who want games and things. So, yeah, I've picked up along with game stuff. I picked up some like miscellaneous things as well. Uh, to go on ebay because i've started uh, selling random bits on ebay uh, just to help fund towards the collection and things bit of fun uh, so yeah it's been fun to get into so i really hope um all you guys are well uh you know that you're wearing your face masks all right and you're coping with them all right because i know they're, they're quite claustrophobic and um just really boiling in there <laughs> you're always like dying for a drink after um it, to me it's just kind of normal because we're, we're wearing like all the time on shift at work so we've worn throughout the pandemic so it's literally it's just become kind of second nature to us lot like to some people you know some guys who've uh, worked throughout the pandemic and things but you know to some people it's a, a new change and obviously some people can't tolerate them very well and they find it difficult so you know wherever you guys fit in in them you know certain groups of people i just hope that you're coping all right and you're you know you're managing to go to the car boot sales or obviously if you're not feeling safe enough you know remain at home chill play your games and then hopefully you know when the next season starts next year or something when you feel safe come back out venture out and game hunt 
so yeah that's uh basically what's been going on that's why you've not seen me in a while i've been working and taking on overtime basically i've got a cheeky monster the lewis hamilton flavor is wicked i'm not i'm not promoting the guy i'm just promoting the flavor it's wicked and no i don't have these all the time i know it seems like it because all you guys see see me with these in my hands at the gaming events but it's just a one-off all right and when i do these videos i don't have them every day like you guys think i do honestly <laughs> I've nearly gone through with this anyway. I do have another monster on the side, but as I say, I ration them. It'll be Pepsi Max next. Anyway, um, just a quick one, guys, before I go on to the uh, car boot stuff. So um, quite a few people ask like what I'm playing and things like that. So I'll just quickly go through the games that I'm currently playing when I do have the time anyway. Um, I've been powering through The Last of Us. I say powering through. I've actually put in 24 hours on it, a full day of my life. <laughs> I checked it because I was playing it a little bit before I, I started recording this video. Um, so, playing The Last of Us 2 on PS4. Um, so, I think um, I'm about two thirds or about three quarters of the way through. Um, I've got to say, I do believe the first one is better in my opinion. It started off awesome, this, but I'm finding it a little bit of a drag, to be honest. Uh, like I say, I don't want to reveal a lot because obviously it's still fairly early days. I know a lot of people haven't played it, but... I'm a bit, mm, I feel a bit unsure about it, but once I've obviously completed it, and I've spoken to some of you guys about it, um, but obviously I prefer to, um, you know, I'll catch up with you guys who've completed it and then we can uh, talk about it and stuff. But yeah, you know, for the purpose of the video, it's, it's really hard not to uh, give away spoilers and stuff, but I'm finding it a little bit of a drag to go through at the minute. Um, I've also got back into GTA 5 because I was chilling at my uncle's the other night and um, he actually like, needed help on GTA 5. I was like, okay. I was like, all right, yeah, what do you need? <laughs> He's like, uh, can't, can't find the missions, I don't have any. I was like, what? It's still very early on in the game as Franklin. He basically didn't see the initials on the map, you know, that indicate the missions. I was like, look, the letters. And so uh, he's like, oh, all right, then do a mission for me then. So, uh, you know, he's still getting to grips with the GTA. I got him a PS3 for Christmas because uh, he's wanted one for age. He's been quite uh, behind with his gaming. Uh, shout out to my uncle Charles. He's awesome. He car boots as well, so uh, I sometimes see him at the car boot. He loves his games as well, and uh, he's massive on his movies as well. Um, so, yeah, I helped her out with that, and then I come home. I stayed at it's like, 1 in the morning or something. And then I come home, and I was like, you know what? I really want to start again on GTA Five. So I started a new game, and I've been playing that a bit. Um, so, yeah, it, oh, it's awesome. I've, I've completed it a couple of times as well. And then this, I actually jumped on the Dreamcast the other night. I originally got this from the mighty Scott brand Sega Zombie. Scotty Zombie, I call him. I just kind of switched the names. I like calling him Scotty Zombie. <laughs> you remember, mate? I got this from you ages ago, months and months ago. Um, and I picked up, uh, I can't remember if it was when I already had one or I got one after. But I got a, a new old stock Dreamcast keyboard um, from a Doncaster gaming market. It was just a tenner. I think it was 12 quid, but I knocked him to a tenner. Um, so, yeah, I wanted it to play this. And then Tootie, um, massive legend, Tootie UK, Stu. He uh, did me a, a copy um, of the, the disc. I can't remember what it's called. Is it called Utopia or something? It says on it, I think. Uh, he's done me a couple of copies of it. He, he did them months ago. So thank you for them, mate. Obviously, they've come to good use. Um, so, yeah, I popped that in the Dreamcast. Then it allowed me to play the Japanese type of the dead. It's wicked. It gets really hard as well. Um, so yeah, it's really fun. Um, it's just mad that they, they brought this out. I think they was trying to make it educational. But yeah, it's, it's just bizarre just just typing random words on a keyboard to defeat them. And it, it gets mega hard when it gets to the bosses. So yeah, I was really enjoying that the other night. So I had a go with that. But yeah, it's mainly been The Last of Us 2. Uh, I'll probably, hopefully, have completed it by the time I do the next video. And I'll kind of be able to give my proper verdict on it, you know, without revealing too much uh, on it. But yeah, anyway, I've got some uh, I've got some CX things for later on as well. Uh, I've got a, a a local pickup. I've got a, I've got an original picture of it. Um, so I'll show that a bit later on because obviously I traded that towards the CX stuff. So um, starting with the car boots, um, I got a few things just from a small Saturday car boot. Um, I arrived quite late um, on this because I was at work on a night shift on the Friday night. So this is how hardcore I am. I'll do a 12-hour shift, like a 6-6, six, six, um, 12-hour night shift. Then I'll just shoot straight home, go straight to the car boot. It's, it's mad. Just get changed and everything, just head straight there. But yeah, it, it really, you know, it didn't... Sometimes it, I just can't quite make it in time. It just doesn't pay off. I've got a few things anyway. 
Um, it caught my eye. I got, I got a nice minion plush. It's a minion Spider-Man with a little sticky hang tab. Um, I've popped this on eBay because I've seen them go for around the tenner mark. So it was just 50p. So I just thought I'd grab that, just take a bit of a chance on it. If not, um, you know, anything I can't really sell on eBay, I'll just kind of bring it to a game event with me. Because then obviously you're not paying the, the PMP and you can just sell them on to people. Knock a bit of price off. Because obviously without the PMP there. Um, only got one game, MX versus ATV Alive. I've not played one of these games in years, but um, yeah, I, I like these sorts of games. You know, where you're on the, like the motorbike, the quad bikes, or the dirt bikes, whatever you want to call them. And obviously there's, yeah, like I say, dirt bikes and a bit of quad on there. Um, yeah, I looked up um, a bit of gameplay on YouTube. It looks decent, so I'm looking forward to trying that out. Uh, so it's just a quid. So nice addition to the 360 collection. This one is not a keeper, <laughs> um, this one. Um, it's actually the Sex and the City, the complete series, uh, the TV show. I've checked all the discs are there. They wanted just a quid on the box sets. And it's a right hefty little box set, this. And um, yeah, I quickly looked it up. Uh, CX gives six quid for this. So make a little bit of money on this for CX credit. So we'll pop that to one side. Uh, yeah, I've got no organisation here. <laughs> this first one, um, this is from the Sunday Car Boot, but this first one is a freebie from Uncle Chaz. He already had this movie on Blu-ray. It's called Truth or Dare. Spin the bottle, you decide. So, yeah, I, th I think it's a, a bit of a horror thriller kind of one. Suspense, I'm not too sure. But he said it's a decent movie, so thank you very much for this, Chaz. Nice Blu-ray to the collection. So I'm looking forward to watching that when I get the time to. Um, so, yeah. I'm just literally digging in. I can't remember what order. Uh, so some of these will be, you know, just totally random miscellaneous items. So um, this is an eBay item. I'll tell you, obviously, which ones I popped on eBay and stuff. So it's a Walt Disney World frame. It's all official and everything. Uh, you can see on the back. It says official and authentic. And it was actually bought from, uh, you know, one of the Disney Disney World parks. Um, as the, uh, the car booter seller said. Um, so yeah, I just thought it was really cool. I've picked up one before, not this exact one, but a, a Disney World uh, picture frame before. And I, I think I sold it for about 15, 20 quid. I'm sure it was even around the 20 quid mark on eBay. Um, so yeah, I've got, I've got this on. I've got, you know, our best offer as well. So um, yeah, they, they just fetch a bit of money depending on which ones they are. Um, there's a lot more kind of impressive looking ones on eBay, if, if I'm honest, you know. When you search Walt Disney World picture frame. But um, they're all really nice though. So for a quid I thought I'd pick that up. Take a bit of a chance on it. Just keeping it in that to kind of protect it for now. Amongst all the other uh, pickups. <laughs> He's mad. Um, I saw this quite early on. Minecraft can't go wrong. Really nice condition. It was just a quid. So uh, I believe it still fetches around the tenner mark. Um, I've searched on uh, eBay um, at some traders' um, eBay pages and on their sold listings as well because you can learn from other eBayers and traders as well. And um, this is sold for £15.95. There's been several copies of this sold for that price. So I could either CX it or I could um, possibly eBay it. Um, I think what I might do with like with the Minecrafts, the Mario Karts and things, sometimes they get rejected by my CX. They're very fussy on the disc conditions. They won't even... Use like it can kind of depend who you get and stuff, but they won't usually run it through the disc cleaner and stuff. You know, if you say, Oh, can you just run it through so you can take it in? You know, but um, yeah, it's, uh, quite a few won't do that. Um, so I think maybe sometimes if, if I get the odd ones like the Minecraft, the Mario Karts, the Super Mario games, like if I get them like rejected by CEX, I might actually just stick them on eBay. It's not something I've usually done because I like to actually accumulate the CEX credit, but I'm quite tempted to. Um, and you know, I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying I'd put absolutely scratch to hell discs on eBay. It's not that. It's just literally, it's just literally like minor scratches. Sometimes, like my CX will reject them, even for minor, not deep scratches or anything, stuff like that. So yeah, it's really frustrating when I take things in and I just can't. Uh, I don't end up accumulating the credit for it. But yeah, um, I've learned this off um, a few uh, other eBayers. I believe James Collects has been uh, grabbing these as well, but. The Little Britain DVDs, I got um, Series 1 and the Comic Relief um, Little Britain Live. So I've popped these on eBay because they've actually been fetching a little bit of money. Um, not absolutely loads, but there's a few quid to be made on them just because they've been removed from streaming sites. Um, I did look up Bow Selector as well, but that's not really, it's not looked to have been fetching much money. Uh, so Little Britain looks like the best bet. Like I said, there's not absolutely heaps of money to be made, but 
There's a, there's a bit to be made if you can pick them up for 50 p's and quids. Also off the same stall, it's a bit of a gamble this because the condition isn't that great. I'll show you in a sec, but it's called King of Clubs for the Wii. And uh, yeah, you can see it's got some stain in there. I mean, you can kind of, uh, it looks quite deserty, doesn't it? So you can just kind of pretend it's just, it's just part of the, you know, the, the design. It's just all, all cloudy, you know, it's just, it's just all some, some sand kicked up, <laughs> even though it's probably like a, a coffee or a Coke stain or something. But yeah, they just wanted a quid for it. I, you know, I just took a bit of a gamble on it because I've generally never seen this game before. But um, yeah, it's actually out on the PS2 as well. Um... I'm not sure about PC and Xbox. I can't remember off the top of my head because I searched it in CEX. Um, they only sell it for like a quid or something. So, uh, yeah, I've, I've not, um, you know, not made profit or anything like that. Uh, it was just literally took a chance. Um, usually, if, if games are on the Wii, PS2, OG, Xbox, I usually prefer them for PS2 because it was just like my main console at the time. It's just nostalgic. I just really love the PS2 as a, as a general console. It's just awesome. Um, so I would have like really preferred it on PS2, but... If you can use the, um, if you can use like the Wii attachments, which obviously you can, can't you? You can slot the Wii mo in a, a little golf club or whatever. Um, so yeah, I'm quite inclined to keep it for that, you know. So you can obviously use the uh, the Wii mote like that. So yeah, this will be a keeper. Um, I might find an upgrade at some point, but it's just a really just seemed like an obscure game to me. I don't know if you guys might have seen it, but it really just didn't seem like a common game. So I thought I'd grab it. Just looks like a cool golf game. I'm a bit of a sucker for golf games, actually. So, yeah, that was just a quid. It was off the same stall as I got the Little Britain DVDs for 50p each on. Um, this one was a, another random one. I don't believe I've even seen this before, but it's Lemons on PS2. Confession, guys, I've never played a Lemons game. <gasps> Holster, how dare you? I can hear you all. I can hear you all right now. I know, I know. All right, I'll get round to playing it, okay? <laughs> but, uh, oh, my God, nostalgia bit of a game sticker there oh yeah obviously there's a game three for two on the front but yeah it was just a quid i just thought it was a you know it's a nice well-known game series let's just grab it and see what it's like so i grabbed that um miscellaneous ebay items these ones um i, th I thought i saw these before my uncle popped round earlier and he said oh i've got some of these he's got the full set of six these are jurassic park mcdonald's coca-cola cups so there's a couple of duplicates in these. Obviously, you can see there's four in total. Uh, yeah, that's it. These are the duplicates. So there's two Triceratops ones. But these actually fetch a bit of money on eBay, especially if you've got the full set, if you've got the set of six. So there's two Triceratops. There's a Tyrannosaurus Rex. That's a badass one. And there is a Brachiosaur. So, yeah, I've put these on eBay and I've put a, a best offer, which I, I usually do on most of my listings, really. You know, even if you want to, um, you know, try price it top end, but then obviously allow the option for offers. So, yeah, I've basically done that. Um, the, the prices are a little bit all over. I've seen like two of these sell for like 15, 20 quid, a tenner. Um, I've seen three or four of these sell for up to 30 pounds. So... It, yeah it's a bit of a random one i don't know where i stand with these but obviously i've priced it and i've put all oh, best offer so uh yeah and obviously a couple of duplicates in there but yeah the set six that would be wicked but I've, I've never seen these before in the wild so yeah i've worked them on ebay we'll see how we do with them um another miscellaneous i think the rest are pretty much gaming stuff um almost um, but yeah, there's a Street Shark. I've actually not seen one of these in the wild, but I've seen them listed on eBay on like traders pages, things like that. I've seen other YouTubers pick them up. So yeah, it's a proper shame about the damage on this. It, it is quite damaged. It needs a bit of TLC, guys. I can't really, I don't really want to touch them up with any Tipex or paint because it's not quite the right, uh, you know, colour for it. But um, yeah, really cool. Uh, I, I believe this is Ripster, I think it is. I'm sure it's Ripster, but yeah, I've popped him on eBay anyway with a best offer and, you know, see if anyone fancies it anyway. I obviously know there's a bit of damage in it, but yeah, it looks really cool. Um, so yeah, they're meant to be decent to pick up the Street Sharks. I've, I've learned that from other people. Um, I don't know, was it a TV show or something? Yeah, I, I don't know if I sound a bit, a bit daft. I, I just don't know um, exactly what it is. I've never like, I, I assume it's a TV show, so I've, I've never like watched it or anything. Or, you know, if there was just action figures, I'm not too sure. 
But um, yeah, I'll do a bit more research, research into them anyway, and we'll see what's what. So yeah, it was nice to see one of them at the Booter. Um, this, I found a really good stall. This was a really good stall, guys. So I have, I spotted a load of Wii games, and then spotted a couple of PS1s. There were spares and repair though. I was just a little bit put off, to be honest, because I, I just find them a little bit hard to shift. I, I don't know. I, c I could have, I should have probably picked them up, to be fair. But um, anyway, the first ones I saw were the Wii games. Saw all these spread out, right? And this was probably, it was probably about halfway up the field as well. So I've been through a good few aisles. I was thinking, why are these still here? Like, I was thinking, how have I... I mean, fair enough, I do bomb down the aisles. I'm proper trying to be quick with them as well. Um... You know, when I'm running through, not running, but <laughs> you know what I mean? When I'm bombing through on my first walkthrough of the booter. Uh, but yeah, these were about halfway and I was thinking, why are these still there? I was thinking, ah, they're going to be priced up at like a tenner each, five or whatever. Um, but no, I said, how much are your games? And um, yeah, that's what I was expecting anyway. But she said um, three quid each on the Mario games and a quid for Wii Sports. So no, no grumbles there from me. They're all really nice. Discs are pretty decent. Um, so, yeah, I, th I think I'll, I'll try CX for all of these. But obviously, if they reject any, I might actually just try just pop them on eBay, to be honest. Because you can still fetch the same amount in cash for them. So, yeah, it's a bit of a no-brainer. So, two copies of Mario Kart Wii and a copy of Super Mario Brothers. And a copy of Wii Sports. So, that's well decent. So, that totaled to a tenner. And then there was... Um, she had two... Um, PS1 controllers. These are the skinny ones that I don't like. <laughs> it probably irritates me playing them. I've got pretty small hands anyway because I'm a little hobbit. I'm a little small person, but it's like these are proper... Oh, they, they feel too small even for my hands. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's just a quid each. And, they, you know, I think like I could have possibly um, haggled to a tenner, possibly, but... I don't know, she seems like, sometimes you get that instinct, she seemed like one of them people, if I'd have said that, she probably would have been like, oh, it's a good price anyway, you know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> what's that voice holster? Um, but yeah, I just kind of wanted to grab these and just get out of there, because obviously there was someone else walking around as well, looking at games, because there was iron up the PS1s, I was like, you know what I mean, for the sake of a couple of quid, decent prices anyway, three quid for Mario's, quid for Wii Sports, quid for these, just pay it and get out of there. So I just literally just gave the 12 quid got out of there on to the next stalls <laughs> um before i forget i will uh put up a picture of um i got a guitar hero live guitar i believe it is it for ps3 or 360 as well i can't remember i didn't get into that game series i love guitar hero but i never got into guitar hero live i, I didn't understand it or anything i got a nice guitar for a quid uh no dongle with it or anything but i've seen the guitars go for like between 15 and 18 on their own on eBay. Um, I'm a bit reluctant to pop it on eBay really because of, of the P&P. It'd just be like, I don't, I don't know how the hell to send one of them, to be honest. Don't have a box big enough or whatever. So um, yeah, I think I'm gonna sell, save it and to sell at a game event for the store. Uh, check the um, the batch compartment at the back. There's no corrosion or anything. It's all like really nice condition. So yeah, as you can see, I'll have popped a picture up for you, for you guys to see. So really nice for a quid. I couldn't leave that behind. Um, this one, I didn't really look at it properly. I should have been more observant, but I got some nice uh, Triton uh, headset for two quid because I, I just know it's a decent brand. But one of the things, it's all bloody ripped and frayed. Stupid holster. You didn't look. But for two quid, it's actually not bad, though, still. I don't know if I could somehow repair or replace that bit. I'm not sure, but dopey holster there. I was a bit like, duh, what have you done? Uh, but yeah, two quid for a Triton headset. I just knew it was um, a decent brand, so I picked it up. I never learn. I, I I did this with, um, well, I actually took my old Turtle Beach 360 headset to CEX and um, to trade in. I didn't realise that one of my um, uh, earphone, ear things, whatever, um, it, was, uh, it was frayed a, a little bit like that. Yeah, dopey holster. You need to remember to check these things this is the problem when you're in a rush guys um so what have i got uh, i got this tamagotchi i've actually not tested it yet i assume it's all right 
because it, it obviously isn't coming on now but i assume the batteries are just dead probably but it looks really nice um so basically yeah it was in a box underneath the table i just dug into this box i was like how much do you want for it and the old guy it was a old guy bless him he was like oh you can have it i was like oh really and he was like yeah it came he said apparently it came with a doll's house or something i don't know or i don't know he, he said it came with this doll's house that I got in. He was like, I don't know how to use it. I don't know anything about it, so you can just have it. I was like, all oh, right, cool. Look this up on eBay. This is the Tamagotchi Friends, I think it's called Pink Gem or Red Gem. It's something like that. It's, it's either one, but it's on eBay. They go for between 15 and 18 quid on the sold listings I've seen, which is unreal. Absolutely awesome, guys. So, yeah, I need to test that out and have a look. So I pop that there. Um... I wasn't sure if I had this game or not, but the one is just 20p for it. So Moto GP 06. So if I don't have it, I'll just trade it to CX or pop it on me. Stall at a gaming event. So, yeah. Couldn't believe that's 20p. Um, yeah, like I say, I really can't remember. I'm like 50-50 on whether I have this already or not. But yeah, I love the Moto GP games. I'm not like amazing at them, but I like motorbike games though. They're decent. Um, what else did I get off this store? I think it was just these actually. So yeah, I randomly found, they had like uh, ISS Pro on PS1, the platinum version. If it was normal, I probably would have got it, but I, I just don't really like platinum. I don't like have proper beef with them or anything like that. I don't hate them or anything, but it's just not for me, for my collection. I just love the black label. So yeah, I saw these discs and I saw Abe. I saw Abe's cute little face. I was like, Abe, it's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while since I played the game. So yeah, she wanted just 50p each for all these. So it is an Abe's Exodus Part 1 um, 68 page guide. It came with Power Station um, and it also covers Abe's Odyssey Complete Solution. So yeah, it's an exclusive double walkthrough guide. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, 50p for that. And then these discs, I was quite intrigued. So the first one is Tenchu Stealth Assassins. So this is a demo. It says at the where does it say? It says at the bottom. Yeah, demo only, not for resale. So I thought that was really cool. Nice PS1 demo. I'm a sucker for my PS1 demos. And also lemons and oh no, more lemons. Promo only, not for resale. Resale. So yeah, that's a promo copy. So yeah, I just thought they were really cool. Really nice and obscure to find on the booter. And um, while I'm here, I found these as well. These were in a, they were in a little plastic bag, uh, a quid for the two of them. So that's really cool. Um, I already own this one because I'm collecting the official UK PlayStation mags, um, the PS1 era of them. Um, I'm collecting a few PS2 ones as well. And I'll tell you why. I'll tell you in a bit. So funny. I found out from a YouTuber, a YouTube video. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll be popping that in my trade pile uh, for Mark Jowett, um, magazine guy, Mag Mark. Um, over at Sega Max, <laughs> I've done some trading with him recently of uh, magazines, awesome guys, honestly for all your magazine needs go see Mark, he's an absolute top guy and he'll totally hook you up, he's got some awesome variety of, of magazines, they're awesome and uh, yeah there's a, a copy of Play as well, I believe this might be a keeper because it's got, um, I'm not currently collecting the Play Mags at the minute but um, I may do it at some point, I'm tempted but um, they've got a review of Resident Evil Survivor in there it actually got 80% out of 100. But they did slag off the voice acting, which is well deserved. Even worse than Resi 1 voice acting. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of a shock in Resi. You can't even save your game on Resi Survivor. I've still got it. I'm a bit of a sucker for it, though, because the zombies look like the zombies out of Resi 2. So I, I just really like them. And so does like the liquor and the, the other enemies. So I'm a bit of a sucker for it because it just reminds me of Resi 2. Um, but yeah, I'm still yet to complete it because I just lost the will to live after about an hour playing it. But apparently you can clear it in just a few hours or something. So uh, I will bite the bullet and finish it at some point. Getting towards the end of the booter pickups, yeah. Just a couple more. Um, so it's an Xbox One PS4 game. We've got Tomb Raider Definitive Edition. And we've got the Call of Duty Infinite Warfare and the uh, COD 4 in there with it as well. I love how they made you buy Infinite Warfare in order to get the COD 4 remaster. It's hilarious, like, yeah, because everyone just wanted COD 4, including me. Infinite Warfare was a terrible COD. I only enjoyed the zombies on it, as you can see, the zombies in Spaceland. 
terrible card but cool zombies it's all right um but yeah these were just 50p each i know these aren't they're not high value trade for cx but um obviously 50p each you can't leave them behind so there's still money to be made on them for cx credits so still grab them right do you guys want to know why i want certain issues of official playstation 2 magazine uk right so it started at issue 37 i believe um so yeah i'll quickly give you a bit of an overview um oh it's, it's hilarious oh no it was, it was earlier than that i think it was a bit earlier than that but anyway um so there's a youtuber called kadikarus he's a brilliant youtuber he like reviews games like in such a hilarious way his sense of humor is fantastic and he can just take the piss out of anything and everything i think he's a brilliant youtuber honestly and yeah he basically did a video covering the weird world of playstation magazines and so he uh, went back um i think it was just gaming magazines in general actually but yeah he went back he found some of his own um ps2 mags that is owned for years and he found this section it's basically where um there was asking because it was like a lad's mag uh there was basically the start of a section called rate your mate and they wanted people to send in pictures of their girlfriends with the consent of course to be rated in the magazine it's hilarious and so obviously i want those issues because <laughs> it you know what i mean it's, it's nostalgia it's history it's a really funny part of um you know the magazine history um so yeah i just found that hilarious that like feature he made on it you know when he discussed it and everything so yeah he only ran for about five or ten issues because i think it, it wasn't a great success um so yeah this is really funny uh there was yeah there was there was begging there was begging people to send in pictures of the girlfriends someone actually sent in a picture of their mum called uh carol she was 42 housewife mother secretary fave tv corey top games driver mtv music generator and burnout 2 hobbies walking the dog horse riding moaning and vacuuming when i'm on my ps2 she actually got a 9 out of 10 um so yeah i'll i'll include like a closer picture so you guys can see because it's really hard to try show you guys on this i literally i do apologize if it's not very good i i uh i don't know how it looks because obviously i can't see the camera otherwise everything's like in reverse if i switch the uh the camera around on my phone so uh yeah that's hilarious that's when someone sent a picture of the mum in uh this one i think this is where did someone get a whole page to themselves oh it's another one that is oh there we go i was about to say i don't even know why i've got this issue because i couldn't find this page that's why um this is when someone faked it and sent a picture of uh, a real life model in instead of the girlfriend claiming it was their girlfriend so they got sussed out there and that was a fake one so there's that this one's funny and it gets even funnier so this last got a whole page to herself carolina 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 so she got a seven out of ten it's hilarious man so yeah she got a full page to herself she was not expecting it i'll tell you why i mean this is issue 39 november 2003 okay so issue 29 you want that one if you want to see a bit of carolina yeah <laughs> And then, right, Mac also had issue 40 in as well. And so if you go to the postal page where people write in again, it is, I'll take a picture of it so you can see it and everything. The headline is, no thank you. <laughs> I don't know if she was very impressed. It's basically, um, okay, I wasn't expecting this. I was hoping to have my picture somewhere in the magazine that my boyfriend reads, but to have a whole page? As for the question, was she really naked? I can tell you, I was straight from the bath so i don't really like those pics i have some better ones from our holidays in portugal with ops2 but boyfriend philippe decided to send something more saucy anyway thanks for publishing thanks carolina if your appearance leads to anything we want a 10 percent cut it's hilarious you would never it's just hilarious you never get away with this nowadays so yeah basically this is issue 40 you want december 2003 so you want that um so yeah i don't know when it stopped but apparently on the video it ran for um on kudicarus's video i'll link it all in the description so you can have a look if you wish to if you're a pair of like me uh but anyway <laughs> um sorry um yeah we're all a bit dry since the lamp lovers went aren't we <laughs> sorry guys 
you know what um <laughs> i'll just hide now um no you know what um someone at work uh, people at work are starting to find this channel guys someone said to me it's hilarious one of the uh, ambulance cleaners was like uh, i don't know why i'm whispering because everyone can just hear this anyway and turn the volume up if you want but yeah um people just think i'm batshit crazy uh one of the ambulance cleaners said oh i've seen your youtube i was like what <laughs> And then also one of my colleagues came up, hey, I've seen your YouTube, one of my good mates. And he was like, uh, you F and B on that, don't you? I was like, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, but so funny. So, yeah, I don't know when this whole rate your mate section ended. But um, basically, if you want to see a bit of Carol, that was so issue. This is prop proper. This is proper information, guys, that I'm giving you. So I think this is the one with Carol in, um, Milfy Carol. Yeah. So if you want the one with Carol, it's issue 37 of OPSM2. Uh, 38 is the one where someone sent that fake picture in of uh, their model, claimed it as a girlfriend. 39 is the whole page, absolute treat of Carolina. And then 40 is the, um, yeah, it's the one where she complains about it. So yeah, it's just around these sort of issues. Um, Mark Jowett is trying to search for the ones where it starts and ends. It's just hilarious. Um, apologies to the younger viewers, any minors who are watching, but uh, you know, anything goes here on Holster TV. It's difficult. How can I satisfy an audience? I literally don't know. Like there's people of all ages who watch this and I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if it's not your thing, uh, but it's, it's just hilarious. I, I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> right. I'll pop a picture on the screen um, of a local pickup I made. Um, there was some stuff in it. It was basically mainly Mario Kart DS that attracted me to the bundle. I can't check, so my f I'm using my phone to film. Uh, but yeah, basically there was that. There was, um, oh, I don't know, there, there was like literally lots of miscellaneous games. Um, there was a Sims game on PC. I think it was a, like an expansion pack. CX couldn't take that in, so I believe it had to be sealed. So that might have to be an eBay or something. I literally, I don't know how PC games work. So I don't know if once some codes uh, used from them, you know, you can't resell. I'm really not sure. But I've seen them unsealed and sell on eBay. I'm not really sure. It's something I'll have to kind of investigate. Um, there's a, a few Connect games in there or something. And um, but yeah, um, I'm just telling you about that and obviously showing you a picture. Uh, my awful memory. I can't recall it all. But yeah, um, I'm just telling you because obviously that um, it's gone towards credit and. Uh, the things from my last pickups video, they've obviously, um, you know, I accumulate credit with them. So, yeah, that's basically how I've afforded some awesome stuff, guys. So, I'll show you some CEX pickups. To start off, guys, I've got a couple of really nice Dreamcast games. Um, I mean, they're not, they're not the absolute best, but I basically got Buggy Heat. It was 18 quid. I think that's a bit steep, to be honest, for what it is. I mean, I don't know if it's a bit obscure. I don't know why it's priced at 18. I'd thought it may be around the tenner mark, to be honest. I'm not sure. All really nice and complete. Really nice Manuel. The, the Manuels, they look like they've not even been touched anyway. I don't think anyone bothers, to be honest, because they're probably keeping that back bit and then just don't bother opening that because it, it's that much of a faff to open these cases, honestly. They're literally... I think they're probably the worst cases. The satin ones are bad as well, but these are... You know, Saturn can get away with it because it's got a place in my heart. I love the Saturn. But, um, yeah, this is, uh, like I say, it's Buggy Heat. Um, it's not, like, like, the best game or anything. I've had a little go on it. I went for a spin on it. You know, it's, it's not, um, I don't think it's worthy of 18. I mean, I don't know. I mean, for 18 quid, I won't expect it to be, like, an absolute class game or anything. But, um, yeah, I picked it up anyway because I would love to get... This, this is another one of my ambitions. Look at Holster going on a crazy crazy adventure again um i'd love a dreamcast full set one day obviously it's a very long term goal uh but yeah i'd love to just pick up um i love picking up dreamcast games from cx i really do it's, it's a great little console i love it um never got to really play it as a kid only very briefly at my mate's house because z had one but uh never got into it like never you know owned one till i started um retro collecting uh, the other one i got i didn't mind it was just a tenner uh, 90 minutes Sega Championship football. I'm, I'm a bit of a sucker for some of the old football games. I know obviously we all get bored of them. I know, I know, but um, I actually love some of the um, the old ones. They're great. Um, it's got a nice little catalog in as well. Let's have a little nosy, guys. I know there's a few other YouTubers who like to do this. Who like to uh, have a nosy. So we've got Sonic Adventure 2 there. 
remember the story of how I got my Sonic Adventure 2? It's up on there. It was basically priced as Sonic Adventure 1. Absolutely awesome. So I got it for like, um, I can't even remember how much I got it for. I don't know if it was around 10 or mark or something. It should have been about 20 odd quid, doesn't it? Should have been way more than that. Uh, so we've got Headhunter, Outrigger, 18 Wheeler, Daytona USA 2001. I've got that one up there. I uh, love a bit of Daytona in the arcade as well. Love Daytona in Arcade Club. Uh, Fighting Vipers 2 and Crazy Taxi 2. I've got that as well. Fantasy Star Online. Confidential Mission. I picked that up from my local CEX um, a while ago. It actually looks all right, to be honest. I've, I've not even dug it out and had a go or anything. Uh, but yeah, that looks pretty awesome with a gun. Uh, Virtua Tennis 2 as well. So that's all the game in that catalogue. Um, yeah, I do have a... Um, a Dreamcast gun. I just I just don't have chance to play on a CRT unfortunately so it's got to be controller only even like with my Saturn with House of the Dead and all that lot. Um, I, I do actually have a CRT TV. I got it like um, uh, I can't even get a picture of it because there's that much stuff stuffed around it. It's basically under the stairs in the house. Um, it's a 28 inch. Um, I got it for free off the marketplace. Someone just wanted rid of it. So that was absolutely amazing when I acquired that. Really cool guys. So, uh, yeah, I've got that chilling downstairs, unused, unfortunately. So I can't yet use my light gun games on it. But, yeah, I think it'll be all right, this. I'll have a little go of it. Like I say, I like the retro football games. I'm a footy fan. I was actually I was actually going to get the new Liverpool top. I'll include a picture of it. I think it's damn ugly. It's so ugly. Like, why would you put... I'm not, like, a designer myself, but... Like, why would you put a teal colour next to a red? Like, why would you? I don't get it. Yeah, it's like red and then a little white strip and then a teal colour. Like, why would you include that in it? I was so going to get it as well. I'm not getting it because it's ugly. Do, does anyone agree? Any, any Liverpool fans, any football fans? Just slap some comments. Just let me know I'm not the only one. I don't know. So what else have I got? Oh, guys, I'm saving this. Uh, there's a game I'm saving for last. Absolutely awesome. Massive win on the CEX roulette. Honestly, not to be missed. Oh, so happy with this. Anyway, right, we're going back to some modern gaming. I've been after this for months. I should have got it with credit a while ago, really. While well, it was about, it was around the 15, 17, 18 quid mark. Um, it's not, you know, it's not like rare or anything. I just find it a little bit obscure out of the Lego games to find. Used to have this on the uh, Xbox 360, um, but I, th I think I sold it or traded it at some point a few years ago so i've actually been looking for this for like at least two or three years at least uh ages i've never actually seen it in my cex i've seen it in another one but yeah that's when i, I just prioritized getting my credit on something else but i thought you know what? while i've got the credit i'm just gonna bite the bullet and just spend it on this so it was 20 quid but it's lego the hobbit i love those movies um I actually, I actually get more into the Hobbit movies than I do the Lord of the Rings. It, these keep me more, a bit more hooked. I mean, I don't know. I've not watched the Lord of the Rings ones in some years, so I don't know if it might be different now, but I've not gone back and revisited them yet because I've basically not got 30 hours of my life to spare watching a few films, uh, you know, because they're so long. To be fair, the Hobbit films are very long as well. But um, yeah, I really get into the Hobbit movies. And I think they're really cool. So yeah, I really recommend that, guys, if you're a fan. Um, of the lego games and or you know the hobbit movies so yeah i'm really happy to have that and to go through that again really happy um got another um dreamcast game which is fair fighters i've played not this version um but i've actually played it on the ps2 my best mate alex uh, introduced me to it the um oh it's got a nice uh, acclaim state of play booklet in it as well i don't know if I don't know if they were stains or they're part of the... Oh, I think they're part of the design, to be honest. It's got little splodges on it anyway. I think it's part of the design. Um, man, well, again, it looks like it's not been touched. It looks like people neglect this part of the case. I bet that's why. Um, but, yeah, I remember playing. It's got a nice little acclaimed postcard as well. Really nice. Um, but I remember playing it with uh, mate Alex on PS2. It's, it's got really awkward um, controls on that. I don't know what it's like on the Dreamcast, but on the PS2... I can't even remember to explain the controls now. I just know that was really awkward. I'm sure you had to move with the um, the shape buttons with the you know the triangle, square, circle, cross. I'm sure you had to move with them. It was really awkward anyway. I think it was. Um, but yeah, we'll have a quick look in this. So we've got Revolt. 
Jeremy McGrath Supercross 2000. It's nice to look through these because obviously I'll want to acquire these towards a full set. Ultimate football. Look at the graphics on that man. Look at that. He looks like a, a DIY plumber or something. You've just called, called, called to come fix your washers. He looks like a DIY handyman. All Star Baseball 2000. Trick style. I've heard of that. Don't know if it's any good. See, I like to go through these guys so we're aware of them and then you can recommend any to me. Turok 2, I've got that for the N64. Shadow Man, that's such a cool looking game. I remember, I used to love um, like the look of that when I saw it as a kid. Remember seeing it, tell you where I remember seeing it. I, could I just couldn't afford it at the time and I'm, I think I'm, I ended up getting Fear Effect instead. Um, but I saw it in Boys. Do you remember, do you remember Boys, guys? Do anyone remember that? And they used to actually have um, games in there. I used to, um, I mentioned this uh, to Mark Jowett the other day when I saw him, we are doing the mag trading. Um, yeah, we was on about that when boys used to sell PS1 games. I remember, remember on, on the little spinny, uh, the spinny thing, you, you know, the display, whatever. I can't think of my words out of time, but yeah, Shadow Man, it, it, it's such a good looking game. It's just, it's meant to not be very good though. I don't believe I own it. I don't think I own it. Not even on PS1. I don't think I do anyway at the minute. South Park. Gotta love it. That's when you're uh, throwing snowballs at turkeys and stuff, innit, on that one. <laughs> WWF Attitude. Um, I can't remember if I've got it on the PS1. Every time I come across them, or even old uh, retro wrestling PS1 games, they're always absolutely battered. Honestly, what do you do with them? Do, do people suplex them or something when they're done playing them or something? I don't know, they just put the disc in and then just tombstone pile drive the case. I don't know, they're just always wrecked. They've got no manuals or no inlays or they're all ripped or the, the disc are absolutely scratched to hell. It's always with old PS1 wrestling games. It's hilarious. Um, Armourines. Yeah, it's called Armourines. Armour and Marines. I think there's a bit of a crossover where it's like, ah, see what you did there. <laughs> And then some random Game Boy and Game Boy Colour games thrown in there. Yeah, Game Boy Colour games. All right. So that is the uh, catalogue. I'm sorry, guys, if I bore you. It's just, um, I'm really boring, Anna. <laughs> it's going to be a long video. This is all the pickups. But um, yeah, I just like to have a look. I love looking at the little catalogues. And speaking of catalogues, guys, did you know the Argos catalogue's stopping? Argos are actually stopping the catalogues after so many years. I think it's to do with, you know, save the paper, save the trees, save the planet and all that. Um, so I reckon pick up the last copy of the Argos catalogue. Pick up multiple copies and put them on eBay. That's what I'm thinking. Great minds, guys. You heard it from me. <laughs> I reckon it's probably worth doing, actually. Um, I was watching George Ross Retro Reselling. And he um, found some, I'm sure he listed them as well. It's definitely where I saw on his video, um, old Argos retro um, catalogues. They actually go for money on eBay. It's actually crazy. Search them up, honestly. Um, I, I'd love to own some. I would to obviously look at the games in it back then. Be awesome. But yeah, Fur Fighters, all nice and complete. Don't know what this Dreamcast version's like, but it looks fun anyway. Let's hope the controls aren't as iffy as the PS2 version. But yeah, it was, it was a tenner. Not bad at all. Um, two really nice looking Mega Drive games, guys. Uh, this was on the price. You said, I've not heard of it before. Forgive me, I don't know how to say it. I don't know if it's Mazin Wars or Mazin Wars. I I'm going to say Mazin Wars. That's what I'm going to say. Um, with it being a pricey game, um, I didn't expect it to be complete. But shall we have a look? Still got a Sega sticker there. Sega. But it's uh, obviously a bit ripped. But... Manuel is in there. Hello. Ha. Ole! Hello. Oh, oh, so sorry, Mr. Manuel is present. Yes. Um, like you say, it's it's a bit um needs a bit of TLC. It's got a bit of uh it's quite worn. I don't mind though. I actually don't mind if the manuals are worn. I just don't want people's graffiti in there, do you know what I mean? Don't want any ketchup stains when people were eating turkey dinos and smiley faces while they was playing these games. You know, I'm in, going through the manual with the grubby fingers and whatever. But um, I don't mind if it has some work because it shows history. But graffiti on the other hand, no, it's not in that category. We're all different though anyway. Some people don't mind. I'm just really fussy. 
but uh, cart's really nice as well. Um, yeah, I've actually not got around to playing it yet, but the YouTube um, footage, I I've searched it up. Looks like a really cool um, side-scrolling, like, beat-em-up action game. Um, but yeah, and it runs, like, really smooth as well. Like, um, I did look at the comments as well, and a lot of people, um, you know, on the gameplay video on YouTube that I looked up, uh, they've commented on how, like, smooth, like, the, how the game plays and that. You have a look at it, it's awesome, guys. So, um... Yeah, I just thought it was a really cool looking game. So it's really nice to have uh, one that's quite pricey. Obviously with credit, I've only play, paid a fraction of that price, which is awesome. This one's a bit of a funny one, right? This is, I don't know how to say this one either. It's Xenon 2, or is it Xenon? I'm going to say Xenon, Xenon 2 Mega Blast. Um, this actually, it's on the Mega Drive, obviously, but it's actually, if you search it on CX, it's actually, they don't list it or anything for Mega Drive, only the Master System. So this is actually incorrectly labeled and priced so it's like four quid and you can see it says um yeah it says master system software on it um so yeah i got it for four quid and i looked on ebay and it looks between the 10 and 15 mark ish so yeah i've heard of the the xenon games anyway i know that they're shooters um so yeah i thought four quid that's a wicked price for it and again i want to show if it's going to be complete nice sega sticker there it's quite intact as well it's just been folded over but, is the man well? It's in there. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I'd heard of it because obviously it's a, a Bitmap Brothers game. I remember reading um, some Bitmap Brothers stuff, like when there's, a, you know, in magazines when there's been features on them. I knew this game was one of theirs. And um, yeah, it just looks like a really cool shoot em up. So, um, really happy to have that for four quid. Absolutely awesome, guys. So, guys, our massive CX Roulette win absolutely awesome so i spent a lot of trade credit in store and then i had quite a bit of money left over and uh, tell you what i was actually tempted i was really tempted because we had one but it didn't look like quite everything was there like as in maybe i think maybe the insets were all there but i don't know about the baggies and stuff i just wasn't sure but then i thought no i'm not going to dip into it because i don't feel a great need to have one i was looking at a wii u it was the like the mario kart edition with that variant you know on the box um, but yeah, it looks really nice, but it just qu won't quite... Obviously, they're susceptible to scratches and everything, the consoles the themselves, and the uh, the controller looked all right, though, to be fair. Um, but yeah, it was a, I think it was like 100 or something, or 110, I can't remember. But I thought, no, nah, I thought I'm going to stick with retro, because um, it is spacing as well. So I thought I'll get a high-end game that I've really wanted, right? And I believe there was three... I think there was three copies of this in stock. Um, and yeah, I thought if I wanted this, I thought I'd, I'd have to pay um when it came up on like the game groups or ebay or something it's quite an obscure game i'm not saying it's absolutely rare but you don't see it come up like that often especially complete but yeah absolute gamble guys and it is rampage world tour absolutely so happy to own this um yeah I, I didn't expect it to come in a hard case either i thought it'd just come in one of the um you know like the normal satin cases with all the you know the issue opening and closing and everything you know like the more flimsy ones but it's actually a hard case and should we have a look inside guys you're ready for this i think i need to go on steroids before i attempt to open this oh my god oh wow <laughs> it's jammed shut can't show you guys right end the video be nice knowing you guys see you in the next one no i'm kidding <laughs> there we go guys absolutely <laughs> gorgeous contents man with the manuel so nice honestly the manuel looks like it's not been touched this is a really awesome example i believe it was i don't think it was 80 i think it was like 75 and obviously plus a, a couple of quid pmp cx pmp's prices have gone up now damn it um but yeah this could literally it's not far off being mint, if I'm honest. Um, so you can see underneath, underneath the uh, inlay, there's like a couple of little um, like holes in it kind of thing um, in the casing. And that, you can see just a, a tiny, tiny rip. It's just where it's been like pressed down sort of thing. And it's caused like an ever so slight rip in the uh, inlay. Um, I'll try to show you, but if not, I could pop a picture on or something anyway but i'm literally showing you guys how not far off it is from being mint um and just some like slight wear at the top 
of the inlay as you can see not so much on the front it's on the rear um, of the case uh, some slight slight wear on the uh, inlay there as well but yeah apart from that guys i've looked through the manual it's all really nice the disc is perfect condition there's like nothing on it whatsoever so i'm so happy to own this like the cx ruler absolutely paid off so guys this is honestly this is why you get to the car boots mega early in the morning you know what i mean you get your cx trade fodder you trade it in you take a gamble with a cx ruler because it can pay off in times like this and you've paid a fraction of the price that's the beauty of it guys that's what i love so much about it i've not had to pay full price or anything so yeah um it's not a game that's in cx all the time on in stock online um because i've looked for it a few times it's not been in stock um so yeah I've, it's really paid off on this one so i'm absolutely so happy guys so guys that has been it for this latest kabu video game pickups and cx pickups and local pickups and whatever video latest pickups i want to thank you all so much for watching and for your continued support it's an absolute pleasure to sit and chill with you and talk you through the pickups and let me know what you guys are picking up at the car boots and what games you're playing stuff i'm genuinely always interested to know so just drop some comments in the section down below um, and i'll get back to you guys so i wish you guys happy car boot video game hunting and local pickups and cx in wherever you go remember just to remain safe and pop on a face mask uh, whenever you get you guys can to keep as safe as possible so take care guys and i will see you in the next pickups video much love from yours truly holster tv and i shall see you in a bit see you in a bit guys take care